from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Philadelphia Phillies, the St. Louis Cardinals. And now, your 2000. First pitch coming your way next. St. Louis Cardinals. So just about set now. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. A wide to kick the pitch. Schwarber tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And he went around, says Ricky Holiday. One, two now. Bounce to the left side. Arenado to first. In time. Schwarber out of the play. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Next pitch is in the dirt. Yeah, that's ball two. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Over to Goldie. Score at 5-3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. And now here is Harper. No score just getting started top of the first. Next pitch misses. Two and one. Next pitch has popped up. Wainwright makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the first, Tommy Edmond at the plate. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. Next pitch has popped up. Stop makes the catch. And there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Swing and a miss. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. In the air, left field, Castellanos sizes this one up and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there, that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and deals. That one lifted to left. And there's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Nolan Arenado. O'Neal, the runner at first with two gone. The next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Wheeler with a throw over. O'Neal dives back in safely. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. That one ripped. That's back. And that one's gone. Nolan Arenado goes deep. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. So two down. This is Dylan Carlson.
In the air to left center, Castellanos gliding in towards the infield. And that is that. Top of the second, and stepping in is the speedy JT Real Muto. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He circles the bases, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. 1-1 now. Hoskins pushes it foul. So now one and two to Reese. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Gene Segur at the plate here. Out to short. Over to first. Segur out in the play. Didi Gregorius steps to the plate. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. And now Matt Veerling. And a count one and two. And the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up to Young. On the run, sends it over to first. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. This is Bryson Stock. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And that's a foul ball. Two on, two outs. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Goldie under it. And that is the inning. Back here in St. Louis, here's Corey Dickerson. The 2-1. That's down and in. Wheeler. He's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around, by walking guys. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. Yeah, he throws strikes. And, you know, he's got the command, be in the zone, be effective. But just moving the ball around, getting the ball back from the catcher booth, and throwing the pitch. Next offering is fouled back. Right side. And Molina is retired. Two up, two down. It's an interesting thing when you consider limiting walks. Is it more important today because of how many home runs are being hit? No doubt. Keeping guys off the base pass with the way the swings and the launch angles are today. The emphasis of hitting home runs is so huge. It's never been more important. Four. Next one misses, and it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Bounced up the middle. Segura handles the chance, throws to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Top half of the third inning. And here's the Phillies leadoff man, Kyle Schwarber. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
Next pitch misses. Two and two. I got to count. Two and two. And here it comes. Ripped to third and caught. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Hater deals. That one just misses, and that's ball two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball. That one down the line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner, and it stays fair. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line, and there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Here's Harper now. Next offering is foul back. Got him. And two away now. Here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. He's already homered in this one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. And now two and two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Out to short. DeYoung throws the first in time. And Real Muto is out. And that is that. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. The one two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. So the batting order turns over. Here's a speed threat. Tommy Edmond. Here comes a pitch. Ball two. Two balls, one strike, the count. Now he breaks his bat. Fires over to Hoskins. They get him, but it was pretty close. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Schmidt goes deep, and they add a run. It's 3-1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over-anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Base is empty with two away. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. And one and two. One ball, two strikes, the count. And that's downstairs and outside. And a swing and a miss. That's the third out. Inning over. Here at Bush Stadium. Start of the fourth. Here's a big power threat. Reese Hoskins. And a 2-1 on the way. And this is inside. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So digging in, Gene Segura. Hoskins gets his lead at first with nobody out. That one missing inside. Two and one now. That one drifts inside. 
first pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That one fouled off. Three two now. And there's ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So digging in now for Philadelphia, D.D. Gregorius. He reached out a walk his first time. The next offering misses. Two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Next one misses. Three and one. First and second here, no outs. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. Stepping in, Matt Veerling. And the right-hander's 3-1. And that one is lifted in the air. Carlson makes the play. Runners tag up from second and third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 3-2. Well, right there, he's definitely looking for more than just a sack fly with the bases loaded and nobody out, but she'll take it. Now it's up to the guys coming up behind him to pick up the rest of those runners on base. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch in the dirt. Now two and two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. That's a really good take. One down, Phillies down a run. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Got him! Huge strike out there. So the Philly batting order turns over. Now, Kyle Schwarber. Runners on first and third, two away. Up the middle. To first, that's the third out. And welcome back to the batter now, Nolan Arenado. And the righty deals. Out towards right center field. And in one hops the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Now it's going to be Dylan Carlson. Man at second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Corey Dickerson digs in now. Flied out to center in his first at bat. The next pitch misses. Three and one now. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now Molina at the plate. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Next offering is in for a strike. If you're not ready for that pitch, you're just going to swing and miss or pop it up, waste the at-bat. You're going to let it go. You better be ready to swing it. Line drive, base hit. Arenado around third. Here's the throw to the plate. 
It's off the mark, and he scores. It's 4-2. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. That one is absolutely belted way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags from third. He's in on the sack fly, and they lead by three. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. Went down on strikes his first time through. The count two and one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. 3-1 now, and a big swing and a miss. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. The 1-1 is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Left-hand batter waits. Slice the other way and foul. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. The pitch. On the ground, right side. They get the force. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. now for the fifth inning. Now here is Nick Castellanos. The pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next pitch misses outside, and the count's full. Drilled to center. That's way back. And you can't forget it. Home run. Nick Castellanos goes deep. And they inch closer. It's 5-3. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Bryce Harper to the plate. The 1-1. One -one. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And a pitch. Up the middle. One away here in the fifth. And now the catcher comes up to him. JT Real Muto. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And down on strikes. And now two gone. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we see more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. here at the ballpark we head to the bottom of the fifth and here's the first baseman Paul Goldschmidt the 2-1 and that one fouled off
Harper. Trots over to his left. Feeling for the wall. Makes the catch in foul ground. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed. Quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So here's the cleanup hitter, Nolan Arenado. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Next offering is in for a strike. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare time. To second, that's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Top six and digging in for Philadelphia, Gene Segura. Right-hander kicks, deals. Misses off the plate and a full count now. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Didi Gregorius at the plate. The line of the pitch. Slow roller to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Matt Veerling. The pitch. Good eye right there. And there's a curve through for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Two outs. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Can't field it cleanly. And the Phillies are set down in order. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Nick Nelson. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Next pitch misses. Full count three and two. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It's not easy laying off that pitch. It's designed to fool you, but he just wasn't fooled at all. Right-handed reliever. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Into left center for a base hit. Carlson headed for the plate. He will score. It's six to three. Well done. Drives in the run. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. So a man aboard and stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. In the air out towards right center. Harper settles under it and makes the catch. One down. Paul DeYoung. Next up for the Cardinals. Well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. This to third. Base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. One away. Runners at first and third. And now Bader up to the plate. Here's a rocket out to left. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. Runner from third comes across. It's seven to three. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And up next for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. And he deals. In the air right side of the infield. 
Segura moving under it. And that's the inning. T.J. McFarland comes on now, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. T.J. McFarland. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Bryson Stock. on a line to the left base hit nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly takes it in for the out throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play man at first here's the left fielder Nick Castellanos he's already homered in this game Ripped on a line. Base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Here's Bryce Harper. Two on, one out. And that drops in for a strike. Just off the inside corner. It's two and two. And now the lefty. That's hard hit on the line. Carlson makes the play. And there's two down. So first and second with two outs. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. JT Real Muto. He's already homered here in this one. ripped and this one could be extra bases stop around third one run scores here comes another the young with a relay home he beats it safe and it's now a two-run game hey they're right back in this thing after adding those two runs on the board great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double it's easy to spin off a pitch like that Berg, and you can pull that thing foul but that was perfect ryan helsley gets the ball now He'll try to strand the runner at second. Reese Hoskins now at the plate. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. The pitch. Breaks his bat and pops it up. He's got it. And that is out number three. Here at Bush Stadium. Now the number two hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. Count is two and one. The wind and the pitch. That one laced to center and a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. And here is Tyler O'Neill. Next pitch has popped up. And O'Neill is retired. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. In the air, foul off first. Hoskins makes the grab, and there's two away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Goldie off of first with two away.
the belt and fires. That's ball two. High fly ball down the left field line. Pulls it in on the run. And that is that. Here in St. Louis, here's the second baseman, Gene Segura. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. In the air, right side, Carlson moving under this one. Pulls it in for the out. Here's Didi now. The batter, the shortstop, Didi. One down, base is empty. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that one is out of here. Didi Gregorius goes deep, and they're chipping away. It's 7-6. And now the center fielder, Matt Veerling. The 1-1. One, one. That one missed. That misses the zone. Ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And the tying run is on base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. The 3-1. In the air, right field. Carlson racing towards the line. Makes a nice running catch. And there's two away. Genesis Cabrera taking the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So now the DH spot, Kyle Schwarber. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Over to first, and he saved. Oh. Next offering misses. Now two balls and a strike. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. That one down the line, and that's just foul. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Bottom of the eighth. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. Left hand hitter waits. That one hit to right. Brings it in, and there's one down. Here's the catcher to hit, Yadier Molina. One for three. Righty delivers. Fall off foul. Here's the 2-2. He swings and fouls one off. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And a foul ball. That's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, he 
they really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Next to hit, Paul DeYoung. Swing and a line drive caught. Dives for the bag, got him! Double play! And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos, trying to protect this lead. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. Kicks and deals. Hard hit to third. And a base hit right there. And that puts the tying run on base. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And yeah, the batter now, Bryce Harper. Swing and a miss as he was out front. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And a swing and a miss. Now one gone in the ninth. And now it is JT Real Muto. And the pitch. Late swing, fouled off. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. The 2-2. swinging and they're down to their last out Reese Hoskins will hit next a look out here he's gonna come up ready to swing in this situation and the right hander deals one run game here in the top of the ninth strike two to the plate and a swing and a miss and that is the ball game well I'd say we got treated to a good one got a lot of game when you get 13 runs on the board a lot of offense but it doesn't end in a blowout tons of really good at bats to look back on in this one one run game here today your final score seven to six they hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.